Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chalon Qua here once again. Best CK2 player this world's ever fucking seen. And I think this is going to be episode 15. So, in the last episode, we took a bunch of land down in Hispania. And we actually don't need these troops summoned anymore. That might actually be my retinues right here. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure that, because my character right now is 60 years old, and he's actually going to die pretty soon. So this guy looks like he's going to be my heir right now, but I actually don't want him to be my heir. I would rather have one of my children inherit everything because I have a lot of fucking kids, and a lot of them aren't even married off or anything. So I'll really be able to use that to my advantage to get a bunch of allies. So I'm actually going to nominate... This guy down here, the king of fucking Galicia, to be my heir. And hopefully people will be down for that. And another thing I forgot to do was, I need to revoke back the barony that I gave to that one shit stain. So I gave this guy a barony so that he would be one of my landed vassals. So that I could press his claim. So we're going to revoke that back from him. And, you know, my court chaplain almost fucking died. And he's going to accept that. And now everyone's voting for him. Because I guess my vassals probably love the shit out of me right now. Yeah, there's only one vassal with a negative opinion of me. So that's fan-fucking-tastic. And at this point, we actually need to see if there's any claims on these random duchies so we could just pretty much press whatever fucking claim we want so this guy's got a weak claim from the duchy of seville let's see if we actually have any weak claims we could press we'll just invite him to court even though it's just a weak claim he's gonna accept we got some shit down here we have some fucking Muslim shit over here. So the Muslims aren't jack shit right now. This guy's weak as fuck. We could actually holy war for this little piece of land right here. And that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to do a holy war for Castile. And what we're also going to do is we're going to go to Middlesex and we're going to start building an another castle. So that we can have a lot of fucking power. And we can actually call in our allies. We shouldn't need to call in any allies for this war. They're pretty weak. Actually, we might actually just do that. We might just call in all our fucking allies. See if they'll just win the war for us. So the King of Burgundy is going to join. And East Francis. So yeah, we'll just let them take care of the Muslims for us. So we don't have to waste our troops or anything. A famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. And we're going to give him some fucking patronage, you guys. So yeah, these are my retinues down here. And let me actually make sure that my retinues are capped out. So I actually could get a lot more retinues. The problem is I just spent all my fucking gold on a fucking castle. And if I remember correctly, we're going to be getting potential claims on Italy down here. Because one of my daughters is married to the Prince of Italy. So one of these kids will have a weak claim on Italy. So hopefully we'll be able to press that. That would be fan-fucking-tastic. Because Italy isn't... You know, Italy's jack shit right now. He's just a shitty little house. His dynasty is shit. You know, he may have the Byzantines at his side. But what, what, what we will do is we will get the Byzantines... For our own alliance. And then we'll bribe the shit out of them. So it is going to cost me a thousand gold for this claim. And I forgot where my chancellor was. Fabricating claims. Somewhere over here. I'm actually not going to use it right now. I think we'll leave Sweden alone for now. And we're probably just going to mainly go for Hispania. We're actually going to fabricate claims down in Hispania. So, who the fuck is this guy?
So this guy is not the same person that we're going to war with. I'm not actually sure if we could just declare war against him. So we could actually just declare war. Let's see if we have any claims for his duchy. Doesn't look like it. So it looks like his capital... Actually, these guys are just all little independent fucking shit stains. So this guy... I'm not sure what his capital is. I'm not really sure how to read all these fucking Muslim names. So I actually don't know, don't know what the fuck's going on over here. So I think this is his capital right here. So we'll actually fabricate a claim on this fucking idiot's castle. Or his capital, rather. And then we'll just go to war with all the fucking Muslims. And then hopefully, eventually... Because, remember, we went to war with this bitch. Hopefully she dies pretty soon. And then we won't be at, we won't have a truce with her anymore. So the Duke of Seville just usurped a fucking county. That's not actually a big deal. And our heir is looking good, so... Yeah, our heir is going to have a ton of siblings to marry off and get alliances. Which is going to be fan-fucking-tastic. It doesn't look like... Actually, it looks like they are finally starting to summon their military. Hopefully they'll come win this fucking war for me. I actually need to set a fucking timer going really quick. So that I know how fucking long this shit's gonna take. So yeah, hopefully this big ass army comes over and wipes out these fucking Muslims for me. Prince Burke is now of legal age. He's a tough soldier. He's a homosexual, so... He's gluttonous, humble, deceitful, ambitious. So, you know, Burkay is an ambitious homosexual. Nothing wrong with that. And Princess Goblin is now of legal age. His twin sister. So, yeah, we have a lot of fucking... A lot of fucking children that we need to marry off. And get claims with. We could actually marry this bitch off. Even though she's, only, she's already 40 years old. We wouldn't really get anything from her. My 31-year-old daughter. We could just matrilineally marry her off. She's not going to give us that much. We could just matrilineally marry her to this guy. And then we would make that guy our steward. So we accepted. And he's going to be our new steward. We just fucking fucked over our last steward. But you know what? This guy is much better. And no one else wanted to marry that daughter anyway. We have a 28 year old daughter. The Duke of Sicily. Would be willing to marry her. We have a 24 year old daughter. Prince of Bulgaria. But we wouldn't actually get an alliance if we married her to the Prince of Bulgaria. So we're just going to wait until, I, until our character dies. And then we'll probably get an alliance with the Byzantines over here. We might actually already have a betrothal with the fucking Byzantines. Looks like the Byzantines actually might have a claim on Italy too, which could actually be pretty annoying. So we could righteously imprison this guy. So we just tried to imprison him. But he fled. We can educate our grandson. We could still grant titles, but we don't need to do that right now. Our vassals fucking love us at the moment. And it doesn't actually look like these fucking shit stains are gonna help me fight this war, so I'm just going to send over my fucking retinues. And maybe we'll get Golikia up in this bitch. So we'll summon the fucking king of Galicia. Of Galicia. And we'll just put some random fucking shit stains. We'll just leave this bitch ourselves, you guys. 
King of fucking Scotland and the fucking Emperor Stigand of Britannia is going to lead this fucking mini crusade on his own. And they're just going to get fucking dumpstered. And we did get a claim down there. I'm not actually sure. No, I actually don't care about that land down there. There's way too much shit. I'm just going to go for fucking Hispania. So this is a little trick you guys can do. So I just moved my Chancellor to this county before... Is this actually Dejo Hispania? It is. So when you have the... The use it ability, you can switch your chancellor to whatever county you want. So Malaga down here. And then we'll get a claim on fucking Malaga. So that's a little trick in case you forget and you accidentally leave one of your chancellors on the wrong county. So my coffers are empty, but the coffers of my vassals are full. They have no obligation to your liege. Yeah, they need to give us fucking 250 gold, you guys. And the Duke of Wessex, who's also the Duke of Cornwall, accepted it. So it just hooks us up with 250 Gs. And that's going to be fan-fucking-tastic, you guys. Looks like a bunch of people are getting smallpox over here. Not much we could actually do about that. And hopefully when this guy inherits Britannia... Everyone doesn't fucking hate him. And this guy is actually my direct vassal. So I'll actually wait, because this is part of Scotland. I'll actually wait until my other character inherits, and then I'll transfer that vassalage, and then the king of Scotland will like me a bit more. So yeah, these fucking Muslim shits. I'm actually not sure why I had a minus 25% war score down there. And we did just die, you guys. So we did just fucking croak. Our vassals fucking hate us. So we're gonna go to King of Scotland and we're gonna transfer vassalage of... Fucking Strathern over here. He's going to be pretty pleased about that. We'll give him some honorary titles. He actually already has an honorary title. The King of Ireland needs some fucking titles. We just need to suck up to all these fucking idiots. And we actually need to make some fucking commanders over here. I'm just going to make all my fucking dukes commanders. Looks like he already is a commander. So it looks like we actually do have a bunch of commanders. So we actually have a bunch of children too, which is fam fucking tastic. There might be a plot against us right now. We're gonna turn on auto stop plots, and we need to we need to make sure that our fucking I don't know why this guy hates me so much. My half brother. So he's actually ambitious, and we can't actually plot to kill him. So we're just going to choose the best fucking characters we can. The King of Scotland can be our fucking marshal. And we're actually going to choose this guy with the really high diplomacy. So we just fired one of our dukes from our council. But he's just going to have to fucking deal with that. And then what we'll do is we'll find who our strongest vassals are. So Scotland and Mercia, we'll actually go over to Mercia over here and we'll send our Chancellor to improve relations. And 
and we'll finish off this fucking war. And maybe we'll hold a couple feasts for our fucking shitty ass vassals. And we'll think I'm a great fucking emperor. So yeah, we're just killing the Muslims over here. It's fucking shit same fucking Muslims. We're gonna master the fucking flank, you guys. And that fucking autosave again. Let's actually see who we still have in as, a, as an alliance. So we still have Burgundy and East Francia. We can actually press a claim on the Duchy of Asturias over here. Which is actually right here. So we would get these two counties it looks like. And we're actually going to press that claim right after this and we just had a son we're gonna name him actually we need another chai up in this bitch you guys we need another fucking chai a chai long claw the best ck2 players holds ever fucking seen this guy was torturing a rat we're gonna let him have his fun looks like our marshal fucking croaked and this guy must have just Inherited Scotland, which is fan fucking tastic. So he actually just died not too recently, or recently rather. And see, so yeah, I'm just gonna turn on auto stop bots at this point because there's gonna be a lot of fucking bots going on, and I don't really care what everyone else is up to. At the moment, if some fucking shit stain wants to fucking revoke, or if they want to revolt against the long claws, they're gonna get fucking shit fucked, you guys. Right now, it's extremely hard for any shit stain to just randomly get on the throne of a duchy that is owned by the long claws, because I made it so that everyone is a fucking long claw, and they're all gonna go to war to support each other. We actually do need to nominate a, su a successor. And we'll choose our fucking zero-year-old son, Chai. And we'll see what the fuck goes down with that. To find that you have a province in your demands that has turned heretic. So I guess we have some fucking... Some fucking heresies going on, you guys. And... So yeah, we have some fucking Cathar shits over here. So we actually really need to deal with these fucking non-Christians, all right? Because we're fucking Christian, you guys. We're going to uphold our Christian ways. And killing this little shitty army down here might actually give me a 100% war score. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on in that fucking autosave again. So yeah, almost 100%. And once we finish sieging this shit down... I don't know why East Francia or Burgundy isn't fucking helping me in this fucking war, alright? Juddier has a tender, loving soul. It's fan-fucking-tastic. He'll gain the kind trait. This guy... wants the Duchy of Portugal. I guess I have the Duchy... Oh, that's right. I didn't actually give away the Kingdom of Galicia over here. So what we're gonna do... is we're gonna give away Porto. And we'll actually give it away to... One of my brothers, maybe. Let's see if any of my brothers, if I can marry them off and have him inherit some land. The princess of fucking Magyar. 
Magyar isn't shit right now, though. They kind of got shit fucked, so... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing Hungary this game. So if I marry off my brother to one of these bitches, like the Duchess of Crete, I might inherit those titles into my empire. Which would be fan fucking tastic. Because it would be a regular marriage. So. We're actually just going to marry him off to a fucking princess of the fucking Byzantine Empire. So we can get in an alliance with him. Or with them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find a random long claw. To just give away the kingdom of Galicia too. So preferably someone who has a high marshal and isn't in line to inherit anything. So this guy right now doesn't look like he's going to inherit jack shit. And this is the heir of man. So yeah, we're going to give it to this guy, the marshal of man. Can give him the county of Porto, and then the kingdom of fucking Galicia. And we need a new spy master, you guys. We'll choose our fucking mayor over here. Send him over to the fucking Byzantines to study technology. And it looks like my castle is complete. We're actually going to build another castle, you guys. So Middlesex is going to be fucking pimped out. Choose our ambition as a mass wealth. So right now... Galicia is going to be pretty strong. He's going to have a really high opinion of us. So we're just going to unpause a fucking game, finish off these fucking Muslims. The king of Italy wants to marry my fucking half-sister. And we're actually going to go for that, you guys. She's 19. That'll give us an alliance with Italy, just in case we need it, even though we are going to dumpster him eventually, most likely. And I guess Galicia is already fucking revolting down here. So this fucking shit stain only has 800 troops. And yeah, that revolt isn't going to go fucking anywhere, you guys. And the leader of the revolt wants to marry Banana Slam Jamma. And we're just going to decline that. This guy's actually pissing me the fuck off with all these fucking marriage requests. And we actually could... We do still have that weak claim on fucking Asturias. I should have just sent in the fucking... All the troops and finished this war off. Really fucking fast. And that fucking autosave again. Every single fucking year. So we're just going to kill this army. And that'll put us at 100%. So it's finally 100% war score. So we just got this little piece of land right here. We're actually over our demence limit. And it looks like we have a bishopric. So yeah, we need to just give away this shit over here. So we're going to just find... Another long claw. This guy's a chancellor and a commander. Looks like his brother inherited from his father. So we're actually going to give this guy some fucking land. So we're not actually going to give him. First of all, we'll give away the cities to some random fucking shitters. So what we need to actually do. He's got a bunch of fucking shit stains in her court. That we 
we could just give away a land to. So this guy looks pretty good. We'll give this guy a bishopric. And we'll give this guy a city. And then we can give away Validolid or whatever the fuck to a long claw. And let's see if I could find that same shit stain. This guy right here. And then we're going to give him that shitty little fucking county. And he's going to be extremely pleased about that. And eventually we could give him some more titles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this bitch. And we actually need to dismiss our levies. And we're going to go to this bitch. And we're going to claim the duchy of Asturias. The problem is... I need to make sure... So yeah, the problem is... Is that this claimant is for this old hag. We can't actually just make her our vassal. So what we actually need to do is change the laws. I should have changed the laws before my character died. So I guess what I'll do is I'll declare war for her anyway. She'll end up just being an independent an independent lord. But she might be willing to accept and offer vassalization. So we're going to take all these fucking shit stains. We're going to get all the fucking fleets. And we're going to fucking dumpster this shitty little fucking... We're actually just going to disband all this shit. And I'm not actually sure what the fuck's going on over here. We're just going to disband all them for now. And my revenues actually might just get fucking shit bugs. So we actually... We actually need to put them on some fucking boats before they get fucking chased out. I might have actually just gotten DDoSed by the fucking computer, you guys. Looks like my wife is pregnant. So I may have actually just lost... A bunch of my fucking retinues because of that DDoS attack by the fucking computer. And we need these fucking shit stains to fucking embark over here. So yeah, we did just lose a bunch of retinues, but, you know, shit happens. The good thing is we're fucking rich. The king of Italy wants to marry my fucking half-sister. I thought I already married... Someone to fucking Italy. So his current wife. So we're just going to accept it. We're going to merge this army. Merge all this fucking shit. And then we're going to go fucking shit fuck. I'm not actually sure what the fuck happened over here. Did we not actually declare the war? We may have not actually declared the war, you guys. We're just gonna fucking disband everything. We're gonna do this the lazy way. Alright. Disband fucking everything. I could have swore we declared the war. Maybe the bitch died. So now this guy... Actually has a clan. So we're gonna give this guy... A fucking barony. And then we're going to press this clamp. So yeah, she must have died or something. I wasn't actually paying attention. And then we'll press this guy's claim On the fucking duchy. And then we're going to have to re-raise our fucking troops over here. We're gonna fucking dumpster this fucking Hispanian shit stain down here. Just gonna disband all this shit. For now, just so they don't get chased down. And I may have actually disbanded my retinues too. This guy thinks he'd be a better steward. And he would. 
we're gonna have him collect taxes. And we need to get this fucking war underway, you guys. We had a daughter. Can we name her shit? We had another fucking daughter. Can we name her shit stain? There's gonna be a lot of shit stains in this fucking dynasty, you guys. And I'm fucking autosave again. Jesus Christ. So this is a big ass fucking army. I'm gonna fucking embark that shit. We're just gonna fucking dumpster some fucking shit stains over here. My beloved sister is concerned that she's not married. And we'll just marry her off to. We're actually just gonna leave her unmarried. Unless we can get any claims. Can marry into a claim all the way over there. We're actually just gonna leave her unmarried for now, you guys. And it looks like Betrothed could actually marry now. So we're gonna have the Byzantines as our fucking allies. And it looks like they're voting for this shit stain. And that's alright, it's because, uh, the guy I'm voting for isn't an adult yet, so they don't want to vote for him. Even though I'm the fucking emperor, and they need to follow my fucking lead, we could righteously imprison the king of fucking Ireland. These shit stains need to be educated. Dangerous factions. I'm not concerned about any factions right now. Looks like we just gained the fucking wounded trait. I'm not actually sure why I'm losing war score in this shitty little war over here. And I don't know why the fucking King of Scotland wants to marry my fucking daughter or whatever the fuck, my sister. We're just gonna siege this shit down, you guys. Actually, we need to make sure that we're sieging down Austerius over here. That guy's not a heretic. Burgundy is calling us to a fucking war. We're just going to accept it just so we don't piss him off. Then we're going to siege all this fucking shit down. And that shit's gonna take fucking forever, you guys. I'm actually gonna split this army in half. And teach both this shit down at the same time. I'm really sick of these fucking idiots trying to send me a fucking marriage request. Like, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking Chai Long Kwa. Leave me the fuck alone, you fucking shit stains. I'm the fucking emperor over here. I'm trying to just sit in my fucking chambers and rule some fucking... Some fucking shit stains, and they just want to marry my fucking daughters all fucking day. They're so shit. Like, look at this fucking idiot. Why am I going to marry my beloved fucking sister off to your shitty little fucking prince of fucking Scotland, you fucking shit stain? And so, yeah, that war is already over. And you can see how fucking strong this military is over here. So these are all long claws right here, defending each other. More fucking children to be educated. We actually need to choose some high-ranking people to educate our children to. Instead of just random fucking shit stains. Could still righteously imprison Ireland. We're going to decline that guy because he wanted to be the steward. He's just a shit stain. So we get the scarred trait because our wound healed. And it looks like that guy was successful at converting some shit over there. Or so he said. Maybe I just didn't read that correctly. 
Yeah, we must be fighting some wars elsewhere. We're actually going to re-merge this army over here. And I don't know why she actually sieged down this fucking county over here. But that was kind of just a fucking waste of time. So we're gonna go fucking dumpster this fucking bitch. And we gain the brave trait, which is fam fucking testing that fucking autosave again. Every fucking year, you guys. Just gonna shit fuck this fucking little military really quick. They're just non stop. Summoning, our nephew is of age, summoning, and he actually has pretty good stats. Kind, charitable, charitable, brave, and diligent. Which is actually fucking amazing. The problem is he's ill. So yeah, those are pretty good stats on that guy. And it looks like this war over here is finally over. And he imprisoned a bunch of his vassals. And we're just getting non-stop fucking marriage requests. We're just gonna accept all these fucking marriages. Our sisters are kinda just good for nothing anyway at the moment. And we have a bunch of daughters and sons that we'll be able to use anyway. It looks like there's another revolt over here. Jesus fucking Christ, you guys. Just non-stop fucking revolts. More plots. It looks like there's an adventurer that's ready to fucking rumble with me. We're gonna have to fucking dumpster that fucking kid. My daughter's of legal age. See if anyone would want to marry her. No one of note. And that fucking auto save, right as we're about to finish our siege, it's gonna put us at 67%. This guy wants to marry my fucking daughter. You know what? I might just fucking. He's already married to my sister and he wants his son. To marry my fucking daughter. Like, this guy is such a greedy little fucking shit stain. And it looks like there's actually a revolt over here. In West France that I wasn't paying attention to. So it looks like Aquitaine just gained their fucking independence. And that might actually work out to be in our favor. Because now we might be able to go for Aquitaine or West France. And they'll be much weaker. There's a man I need to arrest. And another I want to assassinate. A spy master, mayor, whatever the fuck, could either help me with the arrest or the assassination, but not both. We're gonna send him to the plot. We're gonna have him fucking assassinate a fucking shit stain. We're not actually... We don't actually have an ambition right now. And I don't remember what we're plotting to do, so... We're gonna plot to kill the Queen of fucking Ireland. For no particular reason. We just want this bitch fucking dead. She's 43. Alright. The King of Ireland's only fucking child is a fucking daughter. We need him to have a fucking son. So that Ireland doesn't fucking inherit all this fucking land. Even though that's in Ireland. The thing is right now is this guy is actually his heir. So Ireland would gain directly all of these titles over here. And he would actually get pretty fucking strong at that point. And we have a lot of fucking gold right now. So what we're actually going to do. Is continue upgrading. All of our shit over here. We're just going to spend all our fucking gold. We have a ton of fucking baronies now. And we actually need to look at our technology. Because we haven't looked at that in a while. So. 
So we're gonna do castle infrastructure. Construction, military organization is good for having a lot of retinues. Short rain years. So yeah, we just spent a ton of fucking technology points. Still in this fucking war. They actually have a big army over there. I'm not sure how this bitch is so strong. I guess she does have a lot of land. And the Duke of Mercy has just fucking revoked some shit. So yeah, the Queen of Ireland looks like she's about to go fucking down, you guys. And that is an easy fucking siege. And yeah, so the Queen of fucking Ireland, she was my own kinswoman, you guys. And she's fucking dead. So hopefully now, the King of Ireland will marry a nice fertile young bitch. And really pump out the fucking children. To keep the inheritance in Ireland stable. So our son needs to be educated. We're actually going to educate him ourself. We're going to allow this guy to have a duel with his fucking shit stained fucking whatever the fuck. And I don't know how our fucking army just lost that fucking battle, you guys. I must have just gotten fucking DDoS, so... And that fucking autosave again. I'm not actually sure how the fuck we lost that. So we're actually just going to call in all our fucking allies to just finish off this fucking war for us. And we'll just disband these fucking shit stains. So East France is not going to join. Burgundy is joining. And the Byzantines aren't joining either. That was a very strong DDoS attack. And we can actually call him East Francia again for some reason. See, I'm not sure why they ddos me right there, but DDoS attacks do happen. And hopefully Burgundy just comes over and fucking shits on these kids for me. And what I'm actually going to do at this point is I'm going to improve relations with the Byzantines so that if I ever need their fucking help, they'll have my fucking black. This guy just created the Duchy of Galicia. And we really need Burgundy over here to get their fucking asses over here. To fucking dumpster some fucking shit stains. We actually have a bunch of troops still that we could use. And summon a bunch of fucking fleets. Actually, we already have our fleets down here. And we're actually making a ton of fucking cash, you guys. Embark this fucking shit stain. Send him over here. It looks like Burgundy is doing God's work right now. Another son of ours is of age. Her daughter wants to be fucking married. My nephew is now my heir. Because that's what the dynasty is voting for. Looks like Burgundy got dumpstered, so this must be an extremely strong military for some reason. Let's put the fucking King of Ireland in one of the fucking flanks over here. Yeah, I'm not sure why these guys are so powerful, but they finally got fucking dumpstered. Gonna disband the fleet. So that we get more money over time. Now fucking autosave again. And we got wounded again, you guys. More fucking heresies. So hopefully once we siege down this bitch's capital. She'll just fucking fuck off already. We just fucking shit fucked that bitch. That was most of her units for a long ass fucking time. So we shouldn't have to worry about fighting any more battles right now. Because she just died and lost a ton of fucking troops. And let's actually make sure that we're still constantly upgrading shit. 
and our fucking bare knees. Get some fucking castle walls up in this bitch. Get a fucking keep over here. So we're going to be able to summon a lot of troops just from our own two counties. And it looks like something's going on in fucking Ireland. So Ireland is trying to revoke some shit. And he's going to fucking war for it. So our fucking own dynasty members are fighting each other over here. And I can't join either, either of their sides because I'm the fucking emperor of this bitch. You can't join the wars of your vassals. And I don't know why they have so many fucking troops. They just will not stand down and fucking surrender their fucking shit. And they just got fucking shit fucked. And I fucking autosave again. My daughter's upset. She really wants to be fucking married. The problem is... There's no one to really marry her. We could marry her... We can matrilineally marry her to the Prince of Lotharingia. Which is gonna be fan-fucking-tastic. My nephew wants to be married. Gonna marry my nephew to the princess of West Francia. So we're just gonna get a ton of claims over time. We lose the brave trait, which is extremely unfortunate. And yeah, he accepted the marriage. So we now have Lotharingia as our ally. He actually isn't jack shit right now. And it looks like he's even gonna call us in a fucking war. He should be able to handle it on his own. And we're still fucking waiting for this fucking bitch. So it looks like our chancellor died. We're gonna choose the Duke of Brittany over here. We're gonna send him over to Constantinople and have him improve relations with the Byzantines. And the Byzantines are going to be extremely important for us later on. I don't know how these guys... I don't know why they're allied with the fucking Muslims right now. That's what it looks like. And we gain start again. And the King of Lotharingia won his war. And now we're fucking ill, you guys. And who's our heir right now? This little shit saying with fucking nothing to his name. No siblings. No fucking nothing. We actually need to make sure this guy marries a nice fertile bitch. And yeah, she looks pretty good. She has high stats too, so. This guy wouldn't be a terrible heir, actually. We're gonna gain gold. And my son is going to gain the honest tree. And this might be 100% for us. So we lose the ill tree. 94 fucking percent. We gain the patient tree. We fulfilled our ambition. And I fucking autosave. You guys, what is going on with these fucking autosaves? We'll just improve our intrigue. And finally, we're going to be at 100% once we siege once we siege this shit down. And this guy did work on the fucking... On this dude. I don't know why he's fucking... We need the Emperor to improve our opinion. Not the fucking Orthodox Pope or whatever the fuck he's called. It's finally going to give us a hundred fucking percent. And it looks like all we gained out of that was this little shitty county over here. So we got this bitch. So it looks like... This guy over here. I'm not sure who we gave our fucking shit to. We gave away one of our baronies.
And this guy's actually... So this guy might actually inherit... Through this bitch... That counting. That could actually be a problem. And the Duke of Austria. So this guy... All he actually gained was just the Duchy of Asturias. This is a guy we give the barony to. The problem is he actually needs this barony so he can have some troops. And he's going to have to revoke this bitch's county. More children to be educated. Just going to give them to our high-ranking vassals. The Duke of Hawaii. So we're really shit fucking Leon over here. The Kingdom of Navarre is just a little shitty fucking county. Let's see if there's any claimants on fucking Aquitaine. This bitch has a claim on Aquitaine. Let's see if there's any strong claims. This bitch has a claim on Galicia. This guy has a strong claim on West Francia and Aquitaine. The problem is he's under the king of fucking Aquitaine. So who actually was that? This fucking shit stand right here. And he's a fucking count. So we can't actually invite him to court. It would be really nice if we could somehow get this guy into our fucking court. The problem is that's never going to fucking happen. Let's see if there's any claims on West Francia over here. We just need to bribe the strong claimants. Into our court. And this guy right here, he's actually fucking dead, so I'm not sure why he's even showing up on this shit. And then there's this guy, this guy again. So, you know, what we're going to have to do, I'm going to have to take a bunch of time to search for claims while I'm not recording, because I know that's kind of boring. So, I'm going to end this episode right here, you guys. So, once again, Channel Claw, best CK2 player the world's ever fucking seen. Signing out.